Well, welcome to Loudon Day 2 NASCAR Weekend. It's raining. Oh, no! And the guy here in the tarp just told me the race is uh, canceled for today or postponed. <laughs> Probably to tomorrow. So we're waiting for the official word on NASCAR radio, and then we're going to head back and get me to see the dogs. All right, folks, we're, uh, we're in the car waiting now to get out of here. The race is postponed until noon on Monday. So, yeah, we'll head back to... Uh, to our uh, Airbnb in Lebanon, Maine, where we're staying. And we'll figure out what Missy and I want to do tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Uh, race is postponed till noon tomorrow on Monday. Yeah, it's, just, it's raining too hard. We hit some pretty uh, massive, rain, ra- massive rainfalls uh, driving here. So I wish I would have found out a half hour ago, 45 minutes ago when I was on my way, but uh, that's the way it is. I have no worries about this i'm not upset about it these things just happen and nothing i can control and that's just the way life goes you know and i love being in this stage of my life where i'm not worried about it all right so we'll go back to the airbnb get missy and then we'll figure out what we want to do yeah i wonder how people that actually have to uh like go to work tomorrow are going to deal with this now they have a rain guarantee that if, if you um if you can't um you can't make it to the rescheduled time, uh, like for example, for tomorrow, they will give you a credit. They don't refund your money, but they give you a credit on future races. So uh, that's good to know. Make sure people that I know were coming that uh, had obligation back home, they could actually take care of that rain guarantee. We're gonna pause this video. We'll come back 24 hours from now because the race will be starting uh, in, in 25 hours from the time I'm recording this. So uh, we'll check back in tomorrow. Well, good morning, everyone. It's day three. I'm here at our Airbnb that we stayed at. What a great Airbnb. Let's see if I can get that to focus a bit better. Yeah, there we go. What a great Airbnb uh, that we were at uh, this weekend here in Lebanon, Maine. It's an hour from the track. But I'll definitely stay here again next year if it's available. I'll definitely stay here again because there's some things I want to do here next year that I didn't get a chance to do this year, like do the farm tour. Missy did it, but I didn't get a chance to do it. Anyway, we're off to the track. Trip number three to the trap. It's Monday. They're running at noon. And I got to go. I got some things to take care of in Rochester, New Hampshire first on the way to the track. So we'll, next time we'll check in, we'll be at the New Hampshire Motor Speedway again. But welcome to day three of our NASCAR New Hampshire coverage here on Out and About. What a huge uh, difference weather-wise from yesterday. Yeah, yesterday it was pouring down rain. Today the sun's out. It's a little <laughs> cloudy, but the sun is out. And uh, it's going to be 30 degrees Celsius at Loudoun today, which is, I think, if you double it at 30, about 90 degrees Fahrenheit and sunny. So perfect uh, day to be at the track. Uh, make sure you have adequate sunscreen, though. Okay. Very, very important for a day like today. All right, we're on the US 202 driving uh, our third trip to uh, the New Hampshire Motor Speedway. We'll be uh, we'll be there in about an hour, so an hour drive each way. But uh, it's a it's a great yeah great day for as Jackie Stewart would say, it's a great day for automobile race or auto race or whatever he worded <laughs> with a Scottish accent. My Scottish accent is horrible. Anyway. Let's uh, let's be on our way to the track. So here's a bit of information that some of you may not be aware of. Now, this doesn't pertain to all speedways, but certain speedways, New Hampshire is one of them, has a weather guarantee. I think I mentioned that earlier in the video, uh, but didn't really go into detail on it. Anyway, so what, for my best of my knowledge, is the weather guarantee. It's not a refund in case the race is postponed uh, due to weather. But it's a credit of what you get, basically. So let's say in this weekend scenario, the race was postponed yesterday to today, Monday at noon. And you had to be at work this morning or you had to be you couldn't make it to the race. So the weather guarantee basically gives you a credit for your ticket to use. I believe it uh, for another race here in New Hampshire. I'm not sure if you can use it at other speedways that are part of the guarantee program. My uh, gut tells me you can, but I would need to verify that. But I just read about that the other day on the, on the terms and conditions of the ticket. So this weather guarantee is uh, a nice thing to have just in case you couldn't make it today because you had other obligations that you had to be at. Like for example, we had to 
today was supposed to be our travel day. Uh, we were leaving here today to go to Niagara Falls area, but we have a flexibility in our schedule that allowed us to cancel our Airbnb, well not cancel, but delay our check-in on our Airbnb tomorrow to tomorrow in, in Niagara Falls. And we were able to extend our stay one more night here at the farm that we're staying at. So we had the flexibility, but if we couldn't, we could exercise that weather guarantee and get a credit for ticket say at another speedway. I think that's what you could do or here at New Hampshire for next year. So it's a nice thing to check into, make sure uh, that you uh, take advantage of just in case stuff like this happens. And the NASCAR Cup Series in 2023 has been plagued by lots of rain. Anyway, we're still here in Maine driving on the 202, the Carl Boggy uh, Highway. And we're just about to come into uh, New Hampshire here pretty, pretty soon. Had some breakfast here. All right, see you, buddy. Take care. How does Dunkin' Donuts not have eggs? That's remarkable. Anyway, we're here at the Dunkin' Donuts at Rochester, New Hampshire. Uh, just wait for some breakfast, and then we're going to head to the track. And they also ran out of coffee. Like, oh, no! You would never see that at Timmy. You would never run out of coffee. Why are they running out of coffee at Dunkin' Donuts? Why do they sell donuts and coffee and these sandwiches? And when I ordered my coffee, they asked if I wanted it hot or iced. Like, what? What? Huh? Iced or hot? Or hot? Just give me coffee. Coffee is hot, right? We just got to the track and uh, it's not as busy today as it was on Saturday. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, so now we're just uh, making our way through the maze of cars here to find our parking. This I came in from the south today because I had some business to take care of uh, with TD. So I'm coming in a different way than I came the last couple times I've been up here. So a little bit uh, not used to this way coming in. But uh, lots of cars and lots of people and... Uh, Lots of things going on here at the track. We are two hours to the to the um, race starting, so just find us some. Now it's got our parking situation sorted. Out. All right, so we got a parking spot, but we're like a gajillion miles away from the from the track. So lucky enough, I just checked the BMW app, and it put me right in the spot in the field where I'm parked. But there's uh, there's lots of parking here today. Wonder how uh, the attendance is going to be today. Parking, the parking situation was, uh, you know, pretty busy coming in on the park, in the parking, but uh, a lot of the campers have gone. You can see I'm walking right through the middle of the camp field, wherever all the campers were. They, a lot of campers have gone already, so be interested to see how uh, the attendance is today. Well, we're on our way to the track. We'll uh, check some images of the campers here, because there are some pretty nice rigs here as well. So it looks like the fan zone is uh, torn apart. So, we're not going to get a chance to go see it today. We should have went the other day when we were here. But oh well. These things uh, can't be helped on a rain delay. We can't train and see if we have a rain delay. A few play things out there still, but not much. Uh, not for much for me to see. I'm going to go to the ticket office now. Because I did read online that I can get uh, secure my tickets for next year and get a free backpack or a koozie type thing. So we're going to go see what we can get if we secure our ticket for next year. All right, so we renewed our ticket for next year. And we got this uh, cool backpack. Ooh. Yeah, oh, look at this pre bowl going by. On Saturday, my butt was so sore after sitting on those metal benches. <laughs> now I got a cushion to sit on. That was even a cool, another bonus to this backpack. All right, so we got into the uh, track here. Yeah, a lot of people here for a Monday for a delay, so I imagine it'll be a, a good turnout today. Yeah, it's pretty busy compared to Saturday. It's a lot busier than Saturday. I yeah, get people will, uh, didn't have to go back to work after all. All right, we're going to walk through the uh, trailers here, see what else is anything new from Saturday, and maybe we'll grab a bottle of water. Make sure on a hot day like this, you stay hydrated. That's the most important thing. Stay hydrated, everyone. Easy, the uh, merchandise lineups. They're like uh, 30 people deep each line. Crazy. But uh, I guess all the NASCAR fans want all their garb. But nothing nothing different than uh, what was here. I'm going to go see about the scanner rentals. So we can listen in on the uh, announcements that I can hear during the track, during the race. That would be something cool I want to check. So I'm going to go uh, rent one of those because uh, I haven't had one yet. And, and a lot of people I talk to say that it's a must have. 
So I'm gonna go rent one and, uh, and then we get to listen in. Maybe, I don't know if we can actually have that pipe through to the phone, but we'll see. So uh, you gotta pre-arrange the rental. So uh, that's a no-go today. But I'm not gonna pay 600 bucks for one. That's a little bit too excessive. So uh, I guess we'll just do it the old fashioned way. There was something I heard on the uh, NASCAR Sirius XM channel that you can actually listen to this stuff on your smartphone so maybe next when we go to the next race i'll get my earbuds and then figure out what that app is and i'll have to look it up because i believe i heard that on the on the sirius xm nascar radio but yeah that would, that would be cool just do an app on my phone that would be uh yeah that'd be a lot better than renting one of those things or and then i, I do have the smartphone uh, earbuds it's gotta find them <laughs> So I do have to say, this is a great Monday. Way to start a Monday, middle of the work, first day of the work week, everyone. Have fun at your jobs. Everybody to get it going. Thank you for being here to the weather. And it's time for the Crayola 301. Let's go. Starting from the pole today, driving the number 20 Green Rock Toyota for Joe Gibbs Racing. You're the Fenton. Get ready for some racing. Let's get ready for 301 laps of NASCAR Cup Series racing here from Loudoun, New Hampshire, and the New Hampshire Motor Speedway. They're starting, they're, the drivers are rolling out now, as you can hear. Right, so we had a good stretch of uh, 100 or so laps there uh, on green. Uh, Mark Truex Jr. won stage one, and he's leading at lap 163 in stage two. Uh, and we're on caution, so time to get some uh, refreshments and top up the water, hit the bathroom. And I may take a walk around uh, and get a different vantage point from different parts of the track here. A little bit of a cool down there in that power breezer. It's not hot, really. It's, it's nice. 88 degrees. That's nice. Not sure what that is in Celsius. I'll check the weather and put a weather thing right here for Loudon right now. Bing! It's hard to put that on when we're editing. But yeah, it's uh, it's not overly hot. It's quite nice, actually. Yeah, it's 29 degrees. It's a great day to be at the track because it's Monday and I'm not at the office and that's good. I get one of these buffalo chicken sandwiches on Saturday. I'm gonna do it today. The lineup's are really, really long. You know. Here we go with the caution. The caution train is starting, everybody. So 
I stopped at the Rock Point Bar here, the track, turn number four. So I'll get some pretty good view of turn four from here. I'm gonna get it close to the fence. It's really, I don't know why the fence there. Oh, the smokes are so loud. I had to get a walk away. I couldn't handle it. It was just so loud. So I got my buffalo chicken from Parmesan. We've been all weekend for that. You know. Four is in first place with 25 laps to go. Caution, read caution. 20 laps to go. Caution, read caution. What a great day at the track. I didn't get a, I didn't record leaving. It was just like a massive sea of humanity and uh, it's hot. It's according to the car, it's 33 and a half degrees Celsius. So it turned out to be a little warm of a day, um, but you know what, a good day after all. I, I, my whole focus after the race was done and you see that burnout that Martin Truex Jr. did, that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, my number one priority is get back to the car and get in there in one piece and uh, not overheating. So we made it here, we've been sitting in the car now, and I don't know how long it's gonna take me to get out of here, but I've been sitting in the same spot for 20 minutes and I haven't moved. So I'm gonna sign off. Hope you enjoyed our weekend here in Loudoun, New Hampshire. We've already booked our tickets for next year, so we're coming back next year. Uh, and uh, we're looking forward to another, another great uh, race next year. And we may try to squeeze in one or two other ones next year as well. I, know, I definitely think we're gonna go to Pocono after we're done here, and I may even try to get down to South Carolina, maybe, or, or Charlotte, or something like that next year. All right, I'm Stuart. Thanks for tuning into Out and About. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in a future video.